six car ready. Be careful, you don't want to. I don't really. Thirty one is fourth in points. Here comes Carson, sixty three. I'm sitting there, balls on. This is a battle for the class lead as well. Is this for the lead? This is for the lead. This is for the lead. They touched. Championship, and uh, yeah, you can see where the BOP comes in play here. Um, yeah, the sixty-three bumped him again. That's not really long. about to happen. Porsche. Porsche has been terrific this week. They won the twelve hours of the <laughs> show, dominating fashion with Herbert Motorsport, one of their more. Uh, here comes the sixteen as well. Customer Porsche teams. Without their traditional factory driver lineup, because you got the oh, he's got the 63. It. They're going at it for the lead. There's Patrick Long as well on the 16. And then DT of Pro Porsche wins one and two with flying colors at Bahrain. Patrick Long's trying to get around the eight, the 86. Oh, what happened here? Oh, the Porsche cost the five. The Porsche got him to the five. That's how. Yep. That's how they got damaged. Now they're back on track. The 77 so just won off. At this track. He's done. The 77's got a problem. Left rear tire down. Left rear tire down. Hmm. Yeah, you got to... Really be careful nursing it back here, especially with the surface. You can break more parts. That lot, that, that was lot close. No, you, can, you get no chance. Yeah, that was a close call there. Yeah, he's got sure. tired. That now. was a close call. They were in charge of a one two finish. Oliver Jarvis. And he yep. nearly threw that away. He's got a lot Oliver Jarvis, uh, part of the United Auto Sport uh, program that. Won the um, the uh, LMP2 championship at WEC. Um, he didn't run all the races, of course, but he was part of that program. Yeah, this is not going to affect anything between the seven and the ten. Pretty obvious. Oh, there goes the tire. Yeah, it's falling apart. Yeah, I think they need oh, to replace. Here comes, uh, one of the factory Porsches pitting in a routine stuff. I think they need a, a replacement oh, of the rear bumper. Yep, yeah, there it goes, debris on track. 912 is yeah, pitting. I get that uh, safety car on the least track again. Oh boy. So because I have not done reactions throughout most of the race, there's the what? reactions of the highlight. I said because I haven't done reactions to most of the highlights of the, I mean, the most of the race, I'm gonna like film the highlights and see what happened. Might as well. Okay. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot of shit happened what throughout this race. Let's see, 11. Burnout! I don't know if the 11 was a championship contender. And, and then the four Corvette was dropping fluids, and then Joseph, you might want to cover your eyes for this one. Yeah, I know what happened. Yep, team killer. Team failure. And the fifth hour. Oh, and I, and I gotta cover my eyes for this one. I should have covered my eyes for this one. God damn it. Oh yeah, and he went to the garage as well. Oh boy, no wonder why the championship battle is closer. Of course it is, man. And it then, happen. and then the '86 went around. What? The '96 took out the '86. And then there was this part the the three blocking one of the LMP2 cars. Yep. Oh, and we almost had a, uh, another team. Uh, uh, um, fuck, hold on. That's a teammate moment. We almost had that. <laughs> I almost had team orders when the four almost got into the three. And now we're number nine. <laughs> oh, and of course, the crew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this part, of course. 
I don't even know how they're doing the championship. Oh, that's the four. He hit it for Ollie, uh, Ollie's last race. And then the 912 fucked himself. Yeah, true. You don't fuck with the bets, I'll tell you about. Yep. Oh my god. Sebring, Sebring, Sebring. And then this is where the 31 lost the championship. God. The damage and the penalty. So double whammy for 31. Yep, their championship hopes have gone up in smoke. And he went to the grass. Yep. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, what was this? Oh yeah, the GTD battle. Oh, that was that was intense. That was awesome. And then here we are at the last hour before we go green. The 77 with the tire down. Yep. And. Damn. Yep. So the craziest um, 12 hours of Sebring in. Oh, yeah, this has been one of the best history. ones ever. One of the best races of the, of the season. God, I can't wait to see how this finishes. The the That's the leader in class. The GTLM leader. As a flat tire. Yep, race over from the 63 to 74th, not a leader. What happened? Don T. Felipe has a problem. That's going to allow Porsche. Oh, they crunched. The super is gone. 74 better round. Oh, oh! Collision! Oh, yeah. BMW went around. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Holy fuck. BMW Team RLL is not too happy about that. Damn. Oh, yeah, they're not going to be. That is the. Okay, yeah. Even the 25 got a problem. Oh, my God. That's the leader. Out of the bag is Porsche. Is going to be one and two. Yeah, that was the leader. You serious? Yeah. So Nick Tandy will have now a 12, 12 or thirteen second lead, depending on when they're waiting for the pass to be made. The seventy four is on pit road. And now they are going to be one and two in their final race as a factory team in the states. The foreseeable future. What a shame for the actor number 16. They had a very, very good uh, opportunity to win for uh, contact between Montoya. I catch y'all tomorrow, man. I'm tired of shit. Oh, you sure? We're almost, almost done. done. Yeah, I catch y'all later. Alright, man. See ya. Yep. White flag coming up. Firebacker cannot lose. You're going to 77? This could go down to the wire for P2. The white flag will happen this time or next time. Waiting for race control. Probably, probably this time. Yeah, there it is in the hand. Not the final, final corner. Like the white flag, oh, no. one lap to go oh, for the 20 insta season. Final lap in one of the most hectic. Can we see Ali will get his first championship? That I've, well, I've seen his highlights. I'm fortunate to see. I need to see the whole thing. Wait, apparently Jarvis is not after Cameron now. Uh, according to the ticker, he was close to him. Now he's 11. Now he's two seconds behind the six. Uh, I think they're five per second. I don't know. Um, there would 
have to be a mistake made for Dan Cameron to lose second place at this rate. Yeah, he was getting very close Keep to Keep an eye on GT Daytona real quick. I'm holding my breath for the seven team for Elio. Yeah, Elio's hang on. He's his bone at the background. Oh man. Look at Elio as a driver. He's about to be a champion. All right, into the uh, this many S's for the final time. Yeah. Ellie was about to be champion. And now this long back. Would you call this the back straight away? We'll just call it the final straight. We'll just call it final straight. We're almost at the we're almost at the start finish line. This is the last straight away. What? It is a drive. I know someone who likes this. Who likes this? Number likes Mazda. No, for the final. He's going to 2020. The 55. Mazda wins the race, one of the best races of the season. Uh, that's, that's stretching it. And... For, uh, GTD. Daytona. Then came Unless the second. Unless this is him. Race, the is the They win the race. Just waiting on... Firebacker to cross the line before it's official. The 16 wins the race, but not enough to get the championship. How about Porsche? Right, yes. What a perfect weekend. Porsche won two at the oh, final I race. 911, GC Le Mans. Elio's a champion! Is there it? it is. It's over. Elio's finally a champion of motorsports, baby! Woo! About time years for Elio. 20, 20 years of frustration. Gaspar Nevis finally oh, wins a championship in any series. Yep, Elio can call himself a champion of motorsports. Did Porsche win a championship? Yes, there they are. Nick Tandy, Fred Makovicki, Earl Bamber. One and two. Porsche Motorsport. And we say goodbye to Porsche. There's a BMW. I guess they won a championship. Porsche doing burnouts. Oh, look out. Oh. Yeah, Jack race, Jack strip burnout, baby. Woo! Watch out. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, everybody, see. All right, sir. Once again, see all the photos in my back wall. That's still one part right above my head on my bed. It's very naked. So... Uh, the sevens, the champion prototypes, the 52 champions in LMP2. Who's a champion for GTLM again? I keep forgetting. GTLM is Corvette. Corvette won championship. In terms of Michelin Endurance Cup, it is Porsche. Champions, baby! Woo! <laughs> They're doing my burnout. Let's go. That had to be one of the most ruling sports car races that I've seen in a long time. I mean, this has to... That this feels amazing. like amazing. Le Mans 2016 and Nürburgring 2017. And Corbin, and number three is a champion. Let's fucking go. Woo! Oh, fuck yes. Yep. It's officially, officially, official Corvette number three. 2020 MC GTLF fucking champion! Woo! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go!